is this downtown Abbey? That's not being a man. Being a man is calling. We're not going to put some letter in the mail and wait days for a response. No, we are men. Men demand immediate results. See, Hutch, mothers need a mother. That's what they're put on earth for, like a lion that needs to hunt or a squirrel that needs to water ski on YouTube. Trust me, we are giving her a sense of purpose. She loves to take care of people. It was hard taking care of ourselves. No, clearly we were not very good at it. No! Oh! Hey! I said if we don't have any candy, go to the town of Hughes. They got candy corn and root beer floats. Or found behind a wall in a clown's house. That'd be bad, too. <sighs> Okay, can we just stop talking about death? Hey, you're the one who started talking about getting whacked to death by the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper doesn't kill you. Holy crap. Don't get excited. I only came home to throw up. What? <sighs> the guy we were staying with, Olsen, got a stomach thing. Then Hutch got it. Now I'm starting to feel it. And you know, I only like to barf in the bosom of my family. He's not sick. I just said bosom and I didn't laugh. Clearly I'm dying. Oh, everybody stop talking. I don't want the last thing I hear to be the sound of your voices. You're not sick. Did he just go into our bathroom? Damn it, Axel, get out of my bed. God, you have like no maternal instinct. Don't be naked in my bed. You're getting my sheets all germy. Go get into your own bed. Too late. This one's already contaminated. Get out. Don't you start burrowing in, Axel. Stop burrowing. Get off of me. Why do you hate me? No. No. Ah. Oh. I feel like I'm moving. Am I floating to heaven? Uh. Come on, Axel, get your head in the game. I just threw up 20 minutes ago. Well, don't throw up out here. It's supposed to freeze tonight. We'll have to look at it all winter. All right, Dad, I'm here for you. Let's do this. Why are you here? I thought you were still sick. Well, I was laying in your bed watching a show about some mom who lifts her car off a baby, and uh, it hit me. You're the baby. So, now I got super mom strength. I'm here to lift this crushing loser weight off of you. Happy ending. You're welcome. You're out. That's not fair. Life isn't fair, Brick. That's why I got all this, and you got all that. Huh. That was a miserable weekend. I was at 12 libraries, and I didn't get a chance to read a single book. Do you know what that's like for a person like me? Yeah, it's kind of like not getting to kiss Logan. Was this close. Oh, now, before you freak out, we don't want to be here either. Apparently, Derek and Andy were not the badass landlords we thought they were. Our real landlord is some dingus they Mr. Callan who red tagged our house and kicked us out. Hang on. You got evicted? Yeah. Apparently, our house is deemed unfit for human habitation, but I mean, shouldn't that be our judgment? Mom! Mom, 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 mom! Okay, and the worst part is, what if Logan thinks I ditched him? He doesn't have my phone number, and the number I have for him is one number off, but I don't know which one it is. What am I supposed to do? Just start dialing numbers? Anyway, we're gonna be crashing here for the next couple weeks till we figure it out. We're gonna crash here? I appreciate it, Mr. Heck. Nice to be a burden, me? but is our way to be sort of a shower schedule or something? No, 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 no. Mine is more important right now. I told everyone that's called something. Turns out, all this life crap is just one big distraction from death. But it's a pretty good one. So that's why you gotta keep the hope peas on the shelf. And for the love of God, stay too busy to think. <laughs>